point that I think is important. It has been no, no secret that I can criticize the current leadership over the years of the department uh, for uh, being willing to advocate uh, more actively than I would have wished for the industry instead of for the public. And therefore, I deliberately did not want a commissioner from the industry, someone who had been steeped in the power business for years and years. One of the biggest uh, legal challenges we expect uh, that you'll face in the next couple of years might involve uh, federal preemption, particularly in involving the Vermont Yankee nuclear plant and whether the state might be, in their view, or in Energy's view, preempted from uh, trying to uh, see that license expire in 2012 and have the plant closed down. Have you thought through the legal issues there, and, and how, if so, how confident are you that Vermont will win on that issue? Well, your question just uh, brings us back to the point of why I've engaged <coughs> Liz Miller. She's one of the most capable lawyers in the state of Vermont, and it's going to matter in this debate. Uh, I very much wanted to have a lawyer leading the department, not just for this reason, but for a lot of reasons related to it. But listen. Uh, we understand that federal preemption could happen, that energy may well play that card. We also understand that they signed a memorandum of understanding with the Public Service Board uh, that committed them to abiding by the law that they supported, that Governor Douglas signed, that said that they could not operate the plan after 2012 without an affirmative vote from the Vermont legislature. So that's in writing. That's what they agreed to, uh, and uh, you know I think that that will stand. One uh, one counter argument to that is that you basically you can't trade away federal federal power. If if the federal government has the authority to can preempt state power in this regard, you can't bargain that away in the course of making a, a contract. Do you have a? And I'd like to get your lawyer's opinion on this <laughs> if I could. Do you have a, a counter to that argument, Ms. Miller? Well, first of all, to be clear, I've been hired to represent the state of Vermont and the ratepayers' best interests, and that's what I'll be doing in this job. As a part of that, of course, the legal analysis, should preemption come up, will be very important, and I plan to assemble a stellar team to take care of that issue. I have looked at the issue, and it's my opinion that folks who sign contracts ought to be you know, good on their word, and that's where we should start the conversation. It is a document Vermont Yankee signed. They promised to abide by the Certificate of Public Good uh, points that the state does indeed control and is not a part of the federal system. That is a state issue, and we hope very much to have that conversation with them and avoid the fight. But if the fight comes, we're prepared to have it. What was your direction to your new post service commissioner on, on Vermont Yankee? 